Greetings. Today I'm going to present autologous microfat and nanofat grafting for acne scars. The steps involved involve harvesting the fat, processing it outside and then injecting back inside below the scars. These are the results that we can expect with monotherapy with a fat transfer with no other treatments done. The initial steps involve cleaning the area, sterilizing it and then creating the entry point for the cannulas to go in. Uh, the entry point is anesthetized with 2% dialocane and then with a 18 gauge or a 16 gauge needle, the entry port is created. The cannulas first go straight vertically inside and once the skin is passed with a giveaway sensation, we pass the cannula horizontally. Klein's tumescent solution is used and the end point for tumescent is a very hard, uh, hard tumescent skin. Then uh, the various harvesting cannulas are used with multi ports or two or three ports, different types are there, which can be used. About uh, two millimeter or 2.5 millimeter diameter cannulas can be used. Minimum negative suction pressure, about two to five ml ideally in a 10 ml syringe, or maybe five to 10 ml in a 60 ml syringe can be used. The least amount of pressure that we use maximum is the graft survival the left hand acts as a sensor and helps us in guiding where the cannula is going to and feeding the fat into the cannula ports once we have the fat outside we then can process it in three different ways washing and filtration decantation or centrifugation in the washing and filtration step what we do is we use normal saline to wash the fat of the tumescent anesthesia solution and also the RBCs and WBCs. Once we wash it, the washing fluid is then pushed out of the system. Fil various sizes of filters are used in order to prevent the adipocytes from going out and the stromal vascular fraction from going out of the system. This is a commercially available kit which can be used. In decantation method, no uh, kits are required. We simply make the syringes stand for a, uh, maybe 10 to 15 minutes and then the fluid which collects down due to gravity is then pushed off the system. This is a very crude method but still can be done. In centrifugation, we use a centrifuge to separate the layers of fat and then we see here the fat separated into the oil layer, the fat layer and the fluid. Nanofat is created by emulsifying the microfat. So the fat is passed between two syringes connected by a three-way connector about 30 to 60 times. And once we have the fat emulsification, we separate uh, the fibrous tissue that is there in that so that then the fat becomes a liquid which can then easily be injected through insulin syringe or any syringe attached to a 27 or a 30 gauge needle. The fat grafting procedure starts by creating the entry ports, a port point from which Oil points in the acne scars can be reached. Again, a 18 gauge needle. And then the injection cannulas are smaller. They are about 0.8 or 1 millimeter in diameter. So that's about 20 gauge or 22 gauge. And then the fat is placed beneath the scars. We can do subsession before the procedure or during the procedure, or even the blunt cannula can be used to subsize part of the scars. The Fat is placed in microboluses. The left hand again acts as a sensor, the eye for the procedure. And we place the fat beneath the scars about 0.1 ml to 0.2 ml per point, per point so that there's maximum survival of the graft. Placing large boluses doesn't help because then the survival of the grafts reduces significantly because then they don't give the required nutrition for the scene. Nano fat can be placed intradermally, should be placed intradermally like we place uh, PRP and there are also reports which support the mixing of nano fat and PRP as they act synergistically. Insulin syringe, the nano fat goes in quite easily and comfortably. The patient can just be prepped with topical anesthesia before the procedure and then just like we inject PRP, we inject the nano fat. So this whole procedure takes about half an hour to 45 minutes to complete and is quite painless for the patient, giving very satisfactory end results. As it is a minimally invasive procedure, maintaining sterility is very important, but it can definitely be done in our dermatology clinics. Few, these are the few results of patients done with monotherapy fat transfer or in a few of them, one or two treatments have been combined. As we can see, it's quite satisfying. Do try. Thank you for watching.